We're staying in our using text.dwg file. And in the previous video, we tidied up our text labels in our hot desk area, reception area, and reception entrance area. And you can see them on the screen at the moment in the model tab where I've performed a zoom extent. What we also need to consider is text on a title block. Now we do have a title block available. If we go to our ISO A1 landscape layout tab here, you'll see that we have a simple title block with a simple viewport showing a general arrangement plan of the floor plan in the drawing, like so. We're going to stay on our text layer here in the layers panel in the home tab on the ribbon. And what we're going to do is go to the annotation panel here, click on the flyout, and make sure that we're using title layout 10 as our text style. Now it's a specific textile that I've set up for title blocks only to be used in layout tabs and it's 10 millimeters high. So we're going to zoom in on the lower left corner of our title block and you can see that we've got a line here which is going to be the baseline of our single line text. I'll just hit escape now to deselect it. I then go up to here to our text flyout and select single line text and it's asking me for a middle point of text. Basically, it's remembered that we were using middle justifications previously in the previous video. So it's a right click and justify on the shortcut menu. And we're going to justify to the left. So we select the left option. It will now ask for the start point of the text. I'm going to come down here and use my endpoint snap on my baseline. And then it will only prompt me for a rotation angle, which is going to be zero. So we'll accept the zero by pressing enter. It hasn't asked for a height because the height is specified in the text style. So let's type in our name for ownership of the drawing. Like so, and then enter once and enter twice to close the single line text command. So that's great. We now have ownership on the drawing. What we'll do, we'll pan across zoom in on the bottom right corner of the title block now. We'll go back to our single line text. And this time, right click and justify again, but we need to justify to the right hand side of the drawing. So we select the right option. And it's the same workflow. We now specify the right endpoint of the text baseline as it prompts us there on the dynamic input. We use our endpoint snap again on the baseline. And we just move away slightly so that we can specify the rotation angle, which is zero. Again, we want it horizontal. Press enter to confirm that. Cursor's back again, and we'll just call it training drawing for now. And again, enter once, enter twice to close the single line text command. If we just zoom out slightly on the wheel and pan across, you can see now that we've got some nice text neatly placed on our title block. You can even now delete the baseline because you've got the insertion object snap on your single line text that you can utilize if you need to snap to the points where the text originated. I'm going to zoom out a bit more and pan down, and then we're going to zoom in on the top of our notes column, top right there on the title block. Now, at the moment, we don't have a text style for our notes. So let's go to the annotation panel, click on the flyout, and select our A with the paintbrush, the text style, and that will open up our text style dialog box. So you'll notice our current text style is title layout 10. If I click on new now, it will adopt those properties of the current text style in the new style. And we're going to call it notes underscore layout underscore 3.5. So what we're going to have now is a notes text style that will only be used in layout tabs and it's 3.5 millimeters high. Click on OK for the name and there it is there. So make sure you select it in the styles list. We're going to stick with Calibri as the font. We'll change the font style to regular. We don't want bold really. And we change the height to 3.5. That's it. No effects needed. So we apply those settings. Click on set current to make it the current style and click on close. Do a quick sanity check. Click on the flyout. You can see that notes layout 3.5 is the current text style. What I'm going to do now is just check that on the annotate tab as well. And you can see there the text is using notes layout 3.5. Let's go back to the home tab on the ribbon. In the annotation panel now, click on the flyout and we'll go multi-line text.
So there's our little preview of our text, our ABC on the crosshair. Make sure you don't snap into a corner, though. Otherwise, all your multi-line text will be touching the lines on the title block. You don't really want that to happen. So I'm going to come inside slightly, click once, drag, and click again like so for our multi-line text area. You might want to possibly use some construction lines there so that your text is exactly placed in your title block. It's entirely up to you. I'll click there like so. So there's our nice little text editor. As you can see, the text editor tab has kicked in, the contextual tab on the ribbon. We've got our text editing area here. Everything's ready to go. You can see that we're using Notes Layout 3.5. It's using a 3.5 text type because it's got that from the style. What you'll notice in AutoCAD 2021 only, though, is if I come up here, similar to a dimension style now, and when you're annotating with dimensions, you now have a text layer override. So you can override the current drafting layer with the layer you want your text to go on. Very useful. Just remember that one if you're using the latest version of AutoCAD like we are. I'm now going to click in here. And I'm just going to start typing some notes up in the notes column. So we'll have notes and then a colon. And I'll press enter to go to the next line down. And what I'm going to do here is go to the paragraph panel and just go bullets and numbering and select numbered. So there's my first numbered note in the notes column. And I'm just going to put all dimensions in millimeters. And we'll just put millimeters as mm. And you'll notice I've spelt that wrong. And it highlights the spelling mistake there. That's no problem. But I can go back, just change that again, like so. All dimensions in millimetres. I might highlight the word notes, perhaps use a bit of bold and underline there. And then I just click away from the text. And there's our multi-line text notes in the notes column using our notes text style. If I now just double click on the wheel, zoom extents, you can see now that we've got a reasonably finished title block and a drawing that is looking professional with ownership, a description, and notes in the notes column. So that's how you can utilize your text tools to add text to your title blocks in your AutoCAD drawings.